Hey everybody, this is Drew with Acusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are in White Settlement, Texas. Drove about four hours uh, to get here, but uh, today we're gonna take a little bit of a deep dive and go through a few tables and find some awesome coins. So uh, come along with me and uh, enjoy the video. <music> Just got home from White Settlement, Texas, and uh, we got some beautiful coins. And uh, <clears throat> this show is really, really good for a lot of the key date stuff, the proof-like stuff. Um, and there's a coin that I'm going to be showing you guys later this week. Um, it's one of the most beautifully toned Morgan dollars I've ever seen. Um, but stay tuned for that. But let's go upstairs in the light box and show you guys a few of these coins. Alrighty guys, just made it up to the light box. Let me open up this box real quick and get some coins out for you guys. So, uh, White Settlement was a really good success. Like I was saying, um, we found a lot of beautiful coins. Uh, let me show you guys the first one. Uh, we've been on a 1916D kick for a little bit here. Uh, this one's bent. It was uh, labeled details by ANX. Um, I got this one for a good price, so uh, it doesn't really matter too much to me. Um, it's going to be a good hole filler for somebody else, and so that's kind of what I look for in terms of finding the right coin for somebody. Um, sometimes someone can't afford to spend um, $650 on a normal AG. Um, they want to spend maybe uh, you know, $500 bucks or $450. Um, so that's kind of where the ground is on uh, this details grade uh, dime. Um, it's a unique piece. I'm glad it's been authenticated at least. That's the good part about it and I can't wait to find a new owner for this one. Up next, we'll be showing off a few key date Morgans um, and some better date CCs. Here's this 1890 CC great MS62 by PCGS. Um, the reason why I bought this coin is because it was on the flashier side. Um, Mr. Terry, uh, the guy that I bought this from today at the show, um, he had a few uh, one was in a 63 holder that was a 91 cc and I just didn't really uh, like it too much just because it had that dark kind of unattractive toning that we've been talking about in uh, our videos um, but this one's flashy has a little bit of rim toning to it a little accent when you flip it over it has the same kind of uh, originality to it um, it really drew me to the coin just because it has that strong luster um, it is a little beat up on the face uh, but nothing too uh, scary to push people away so really beautiful coin up next we uh, actually got a whole slew of 1896 that I have to show you guys but here's this 1890 CC another one for you guys a um, little bit flashier uh, for an AU58 just because most AU58s and AU55s I can show you actually a few from the 96 O's that we got um, some are really dark and ugly and have been circulated and some are a little bit more flashy, uh, the higher end in my opinion. Um, this 90 uh, CC is on the verge of uh, a 60 or a 61, but because of the luster in the face and there's a little bit of wear on uh, the high point, which is the breast feathers, uh, they couldn't give this one a 60 or a 61. But like I said, there are price ranges for every single collector and a 90cc and AU58 is a good start for somebody that wants something in the middle of the road. But a beautiful coin, indeed. Next up, we're showing off a bigger priced coin. This is an 1928S, right, MS64 by PCGS. Um, we're going back to the flash factor. Let me pull off this, uh, this tape real quick. Oh, you gotta kinda see what I paid for, but that's okay. Um, 1928S, great MS64 by PCGS. Like I said, going back to the flash factor, um, really strong coin. Um, I think this one would, uh, if we were sent it to CAC or uh, another authentication uh, service, I think it would receive the sticker. Um, I just think it's very flashy 
and um, also it's pretty strong in terms of eye appeal and I think this is a wonderful coin for somebody that needs it for their collection 28 S's are pretty hard to come by especially in mint state grades so I thought you know there's no better time to buy a better a nice coin than now and so that's what we did with this coin as you can kind of see the strike is a little bit weak on the hair but I think this coin makes up in many other different ways so really really nice piece up next we'll be showing off a little bit more of the circulated side of what we bought at the white settlement show this is a 1903s graded fair 12 um, I'm sorry fine 12 by PCGS it has that nice circulated look no big kind of distracting marks or uh, hits to it actually there's a little bit of a dot there but nothing too crazy about it um, and so I actually have a guy um, on Facebook that I sell these to a lot and so what I do is I kind of source these for him and I kind of sell some on my own as well but this is a nice example of a better date uh, Morgan dollar um, as you can tell guys I do love my Morgan dollars but this is a nice date another hole filler for uh, a starter collector and I think it is a beautiful one so now we're jumping into the 1896 O territory uh, first up we're starting off with uh, a flash year 53 um, this one is a little bit better like I said it's not it doesn't have that burn uh, burn part about it um, it's has more luster than most coins do for a 53 and so I bought it because it's more eye appealing to anyone that's collecting it and it has that uh, it has that circulated look but it also has that uh, mint state feel to it um, and it doesn't have that much of a price uh, jump I think price jumps in the uh, mint state are above a thousand dollars so uh, this is the right coin for the right person and um, I know someone's going to enjoy this a lot so uh, but we're going to be showing you guys a few other ones that are not so pretty so you guys can watch out for those ones as well make sure you get the prices uh, if you're going to pay up for a coin, make sure you get a beautiful coin or a coin that's uh, nice in your hand like this one rather than a dark one for the same price. And so I'll be showing you guys a few of those right now. But first, we're going back to the Peace Dollars. Woo! But uh, This is a 1935 MS65 um, Peace Dollar. Better date. Um, and what I love about it, once again... The originality, the flashiness to it, wow, mm, yes. But uh, I have had a few people asking about um, beautiful peace dollars. I haven't really moved into the scene yet with these, um, but I'm starting to now. And so um, once I kind of break that uh, glass ceiling for this kind of um, this kind of series that I've been working on with trying to sell peace dollars, um, I think this one's a, a great addition to what I'm trying to work on, and I think that. Uh, someone's gonna really love this coin and really want to buy it because I mean what's what's wrong with this coin I don't know what's wrong with this coin it's gem state it's got the flash um, that's it's just an extremely nice problem free coin um, and, and I don't know I love this coin it's beautiful I wish I could keep it but I can't but let's keep showing them off here um, I'm gonna pull a few more 96 O's out real quick but um, so these are all 96 O's that I bought today also so like I said there's a whole slew of 96 O's that we're buying 53, 55, and 58 all really nice coins um, but you're going to see I think I have an uglier one in there for you guys to see but these are all really nice with the eye appeal and um, they're just easier to sell they have that prettier uh, type of originality to it and um, that sells on eBay or that sells on Instagram or that sells on Facebook or wherever you'd like to sell them people are looking for the beautiful look to a coin and these have them and I got a whole crap ton <laughs> from the same dealer and he's a really nice guy uh, we worked a deal um, but let me see if I can get um, get the coin that I'm kind of wondering about but I might have passed on it but I would say the ugliest 96 is the AU50 um, it's a kind of a rare grade. We can only see XF45s to AU53s, but this is a, a coin that you can kind of see now the details getting uh, really thin on it. It's starting to go into the XF territory, um, but also it's just really dark, unappealing to the eye. 
Um, and I didn't pay as much as I would normally pay for a nice AU50 if it had that kind of stronger luster like you're seeing on the 53s. But um, if you're going to pay for a coin like this, I would try to get a deal just because sometimes it can be a little bit tougher to sell a coin when it's uglier and doesn't have that nice eye appeal to it, uh, circulated or uncirculated. And so this is a coin that um, I got a good deal on, like I said, and it's going to be kind of worked in with the other coins and um, it's going to find a nice new home to a newer collector trying to get into key dates. So keep your eye out for these. Make sure you pay the right price for these types of coins. Alrighty, and we're going to show off two CCs that we got today. Um, first off, we have this 92 CC graded uh, fine 15. Um, it's it's got that. Uh, I think it's been dipped a little bit, um, but it's still pretty nice. 92 CCs. Anything with 92 on it's pretty hard. Um, but we ended up uh, striking a deal on this one. I bought a lot of these coins from the same dealer, so he ended up uh, saying, you know what? I need 375. I offered 325. He's like, okay, I'll take it. You're doing a lot for me, and so. Hopefully I can find a nice new owner for this coin. They're going to really enjoy it. And um, I don't know, 92 cc's aren't pretty, aren't common. And prices are shooting up on these right now, so I thought I would join the bandwagon. Alrighty. So we actually got one more cc I wanted to show you guys. This is a 79 cc cap die. Um, cap dies are a little bit harder to find right now. Um, 79 cc's are a little bit more common, but what's interesting is that when you find uh, a cap die, most of the time people don't have that in their collection and they're searching for it. And so I did pay up a little bit on this coin, um, but uh, the originality is there, um, the rarity is there um, in terms of the cap die, which is kind of a sought after uh, VAM. And, um, it's a really nice coin. I think people will start to uh, catch on to more of these as time progresses. Um, but I think that for the price that I got it, and like I said, he's working with me a lot. Um, coins like this, I really do enjoy working with um, because they have their originality and they're not too costly to anybody that might want to pick them up. And uh, I want to kind of give you guys a little bit of a perspective on what's been going on so I've had a lot of comments kind of on what um, what's happening how can I buy coins from you a lot of people actually uh, want to buy some stuff in the videos and so uh, what I would say to you guys um, is that we're gonna have um, we're gonna have a website in the next month so you guys can go on there and uh, choose what you like and maybe buy some something something nice and support the channel at the same time um, that would be greatly appreciated, and, but we're going to be working on that within the next month, and uh, I hope you guys are ready for it. Um, it's been a long time coming, and a website is long overdue, but we're going to jump into the next coin. This is the 1880S, uh, common date, but uncommon PL. Uh, well, it's, it's common in a PL, but um, for the price that I got it, um, and someone jumping in, we're going we're gonna to say that a lot in this episode, jumping into the series. Um, people start jumping into the series, uh, they want to buy something beautiful, and they also want to buy something uh, kind of attractive and not too costly. And so uh, 1880 SPLs you can do really great on because um, people are wanting to learn about it, uh, learn about the series, and want a beautiful coin but not spend too much. You know, they have 150 bucks here, 200 bucks there and this is the coin for them and so sometimes you can find a client just buying a coin like this and giving them an opportunity uh, to buy it and uh, maybe make a lifelong customer or maybe make a customer that um, will want to buy a few more from you in the future it's all kind of how you uh, present yourself and the coins that you sell and so I think this is the right coin for a buyer like that and last but not least, we have a beautiful 1887 MS64 dimple. Um, I got this coin because it had that flashiness feel to it. Um, it has that deep mirrors that you would want on a deep mirror proof like. Um, and it's a little bit better of a date. And so that's why I had to jump on it. And um, it's a little bit more pricey for the dim dimple uh, collectors. But um, I have a client that might want this. And I think he would really like it. Um, because he needs this hole filled in his uh, collection. So 
Uh, thank you guys for watching this part of the video. I hope you guys enjoy this whole slew of stuff we got from White Settlement, Texas Coin Show. Hey guys, I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like on this video. Uh, we work very hard to give you guys information that's important to you guys, um, either from a dealer or a collector perspective. Uh, we, Like I said, we went through a whole bunch of coins today. It was a little bit longer of an episode, but I hope it was worth it for you guys. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, uh, comment what your favorite coin was, and subscribe if you're new. Uh, we try to upload three times a week, keep you guys energized about the coin community. So stay tuned for more episodes, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.